Another great feature that's available here on the invoices page are statements. Statements allow you to print in summary form all of the transactions related to a customer within a given time period. So you can kind of think of statements as being like a, your credit card statements. If you've ever received a credit card statement, you'll see all of the purchases that you've made, any payments and any credits that may have been made on your account during a given period. And that's exactly what statements are inside of your accounting software. So to help visualize this, let's take a look at a statement for our friends at Doe Enterprises. So to get to statements, we click on the statements tab here found on the invoices page. So this is the customer statement page. And what we need to do first is select which customer we want to run the statement for. A statement can only be run for one customer at a time. So we're going to select our Doe Enterprises. And now to begin with, I'm going to uncheck show unpaid invoices only. And I want to run this particular statement for the beginning of June forward. Okay. So this is our statement for Doe Enterprises. And as you can see, it shows us all of the different transactions that Doe Enterprises has made with our company from June 1st through August, which is the date range that I chose. We can see the beginning balance, what was on their account at the beginning, any invoices that we've incurred, any payments that or refunds that have been made, and our ending balance down at the bottom, which is the amount that they have due. Now up at the top, we can get a summary of that information, showing the total of all invoices, total of payments and refunds, and what the ending balance is in summary form. And this would be, like I said, more akin to kind of a credit card statement type environment, where it's going to show all of our invoices and our payments. But there's an alternative way to showing these statements. If we go back up to the top, I can check that box I unchecked earlier that says show unpaid invoices only, which is the default setting for statements in WAVE. When I check that, you'll see that the list is much shorter now. It only shows those invoices that they have outstanding right now. So your beginning balance is gone and it just shows the outstanding balance on any open invoices. And also you can see that the account summary section here at the top has also changed. Since all we're showing are invoices, it no longer needs the lines for payments and refunds. So it can show me my aging buckets. It can show how old the different invoices are that are still outstanding, which is a fairly standard format for statements in the accounting world. Now, if you want to see what this is going to look like for a customer when you send it to them, you can click on preview the customer view and it will show you what the customer's statement looks like when they open up the web statement that they would receive in their email. And then from here, if you wanted to, you could send this statement to your customer or you can go back to wave by clicking up here in the upper right. So a statement is a really great way to collect multiple invoices from a single customer. This may happen if a customer has multiple locations and you invoice each location differently, but you have a central office that pays, or perhaps you just have a customer that is overdue on several invoices and you want a friendly reminder, or maybe you have certain clients that order from you frequently, but only pay once every 30, 60 or 90 days. So if any of those scenarios are typical to your business, then a statement will be really useful for you. Not all customers use statements and you certainly don't have to use them, but where you have those types of scenarios, statements can be a very useful way to remind customers of the total amount that's due and possibly receive payments more frequently from them than if you were to send each invoice individually and wait payment on each of them. Thank you for watching the Bootstrapper's Guide to Wave Accounting. If you found this video useful, I encourage you to click the like button below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this video with other entrepreneurs. Doing so will help us to continue creating more videos like this one for you and other Wave users here on the Accounting Lab.